It appears that the transformation journey that Cooperative Bank undertook last year, driven by global advisory firm McKinsey that proposed reorganization of the bank's business model to improve efficiency, manage cost, and lift the bank to a higher growth trajectory is beginning to bear fruits. In 2015, the bank spent 1.3 billion shillings in the restructuring exercise that saw 160 staff retrenched. I think that has given us incredible opportunity in terms of uh, exposing the very young and dynamic staff that we have in the bank, the younger people. They have been given opportunities to, to, to and they're doing extremely well. And out of the, the, the retrenchment program that we did last year, the cost saving this year alone will be in the range of 600 million. Consequently, operating expenses marginally increased in the first quarter of 2015 to 4.3 billion shillings, up from 4.2 billion shillings. On the other hand, profit before tax shot up 30% to 4.5 billion shillings. And the key thing of this is we, clearly we are, we, are, we, are, we, we are realizing the gains out of the restructuring, the transformation agenda that we've been going through since last year. Uh, as you're aware, from last year we, 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 we went through an aggressive restructuring where then we, we have this uh, swelling ego transformation project that we're implementing, uh, focusing on cost, cost containment, operational efficiency, and um, growing business in the bank. Renaissance Capital gave the bank's restructuring process a clean bill of health, predicting a strong base for growing non-funded income streams, which has increased 8% to 2.9 billion shillings, from 2.7 billion shillings, Uriuki is confident that the South Sudan business would break even this year from a 550 million shillings loss recorded in the 2014 full year results. In 2014, South Sudan had not done well. I'm saying in 2015, South Sudan has almost broken even. And I said, they, as of March, they only have a small loss of 12 million. But month on month, they're doing well. They are, they, 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 like March, they did 35 million in March. And so in the coming months, we would expect South Sudan this year possibly to contribute to the group performance by no less than 200 million. The bank is currently undertaking automation of its loan appraisal, which will help it manage non-performing loans, which makes up 4% of its loan portfolio that stands at 184.2 billion shillings in March this year. Ronald Willie. Business defined.